Hi, in this video it's a quick three minute overview of the worksheet on circles. Please do follow the link in the description and have a look at the worksheet for yourself. If you do need any support, please don't hesitate to add a comment below. I'll always come back to you. So in this video, we're only going to look at question number five and six only, and then there'll be question number nine in the next video that comes along. Okay, so let's move on then to question number five. And question number five deals with um, working out the circumference of the circle. So it's this question here. Okay, so in this particular um, worksheet, it's always a good idea to write down the formula that you need. So the circumference is going to be equal to pi D. Now, sometimes I see uh, some people will write 2 pi r. That's exactly the same because 2 times the radius is actually the diameter. Now, in this particular question, we've been given the radius. So if I make that into the diameter, that's going to be 13 centimetres. So if I want to work out the circumference, it's going to be pi multiplied by 13. If I put that into my calculator, I'm going to get 40.8407. And if I that to one decimal place that's going to give me 40.8 centimeters and that would be the answer to that particular question. Okay, so that technique I'm going to use exactly the same with working out in question number six, the area of the circle. I'm going to write the formula first and then put in the numbers and then hopefully answer the question. Okay, so let's have a look then at question number six. Okay, so in question number six, we've got a circle. This time it's got a diameter of 12.5 centimetres and we're being asked to calculate the area of the circle. Well, the formula for the area of a circle is area equals pi r squared. Now r is actually the radius, so what I've got to do is mark on this the radius of the circle, which is half of the diameter, which is 6.25. So that's going to be equal to pi, and I'm going to put 6.25 in brackets because I'm basically substituting the r, and then I'm going to square it. And if I pop that into my calculator, I'm going to get 122 Point seven one eight four six three, and I think it probably goes on a little bit longer, but to two decimal places, that's going to give me one two two. 0.72 and the units are centimetres squared. And that's it. That's the answer to that particular question. I hope it's been useful to you. Please do download the worksheet, have a look at the rest of the questions, follow the next video, which is going to be on question number nine. And I'll look forward to seeing you inside the video.